pajamas. She actually wears pajamas to work. And not only does she wear pajamas to her work site, she has the audacity to come over to the administration building and stand in front of my door in her pajamas. I have witnessed children's eyes light up when they see her. She takes the time to get to know not only the child, but their family. She encourages me to step past my boundaries and embrace life and all it brings. She is not only a co-worker, but a very dear friend. When I was her supervisor, I saw she was truly a case manager at heart. She gave her all to help one particular single dad and his son so the child could learn appropriate behaviors. His was truly a success story thanks to her. This year's recipient is one of the most thoughtful people I know. Even though she is carrying a heavy load this year, she always has kind words for others, a smile on her face, and a wonderful sense of humor. This is my first teacher. I loved her. She lots of fun. This is a great teacher. I remember the day that she came to Wellington looking for a job. Although she was from the other state school, I looked past her soon and interviewed her for the position of future's second ever early childhood special ed preschool teacher. She was the best candidate. I offered her the position. She accepted, and the rest is history. All of these years later, I cannot think of a more deserving person to receive this award. She has been an important part in the lives of so many children, including my own daughter, and I wish her all of God's best. Congratulations, and be kind to Jayhawks. She started at Futures 23 years ago as a preschool teacher with a master's in special education her expertise has been valuable not only in the classroom, but on the infant, toddler, and tiny K team, which serves infants and toddlers with disabilities. During this past year, we've made some very significant changes in how our children's programs are structured and services are delivered. Those changes affected the children that we serve, their parents, and our staff. And once again, as she's done countless times during her 23-year tenure with us, She's adjusted to those changes with amazing professionalism and expertise while remaining positive and upbeat. She has so many roles this year. As my colleague, she is the administrator for all of our special education meetings. She's a supervisor for special education staff. She's a direct service provider for special education students in other classrooms. She's the coordinator of all of our special education evaluations, and she monitors our special education documentation and paperwork. And that's only part of her job. She's also a preschool teacher for both a morning and an afternoon Head Start classroom. She's one versatile woman. She wears many different hats, friend, mentor, advisor, sympathizer, thinker, humorist, problem solver, co-worker, director, and a great person receiving a wonderful award. The students and family she serves are always beyond thankful for the caring, thoughtful, loving, and persistent way she works with them. She was the driving force behind establishing our intensive direct instruction program to help young children that are struggling with significant issues connected to autism, or ADHD, cerebral palsy, or intellectual deficits. By structuring a completely new environment for the children, we've seen amazing developmental gains in the children who have gone through the program. She has a huge heart and is a great role model for not only myself, but the children she impacts on a daily basis. Her motto has become, don't count the days, let every day count. She cares so deeply about the children she works with. She always works hard to help them learn and grow and wants the very best for all of them, especially the most challenging ones. Purple? Really? The passion she has for her job is infectious. It's not uncommon to see her whole family at Futures events and each of her three girls who have helped out on several occasions in the classroom or as event volunteers. One of her daughters has become employed at Futures as well. I've seen firsthand the dedication she has towards her work. I strive to follow in her footsteps with the same kind of dedication in my current job and college coursework. 
She has a weird obsession with these little guys. She has a word she says often, and we all associate it with her. It's the word believe. This simple word inspires her to reach out to everyone she works with, understanding that there is no limits, no matter the circumstance. The word believe really describes her. She truly believes in each and every child served here at Futures. No matter the challenge or disability, she knows with the right support, this child can and will succeed. She has a heart of gold, always reaching out to help those who can't help themselves. That has inspired me to do the same as I work with those who have challenges. Her faith in God and her life is a testimony to all she encounters. For all of the years that I've had the pleasure to know and work with her, that's just how she does things. Be it in taking care of an ailing parent, being a loving wife to her husband Tracy, raising three beautiful daughters, Kimberly, Michelle, and Amy, or providing emotional support to friends, coworkers, and families. Her sense of fun and a little bit of orneriness. Well, we couldn't ask for anybody to be more representative of who we are and who we always want to be. Pajamas in the workplace, for her, no problem. And so, I'm delighted to present to you the 2015 Employee of the Year and winner of this year's Matthew Washington Award, Paula Diver. <laughs>